In the fall of 1976, I was 31 years old, super hairy, and, and very busy taking three doctoral level classes at Stanford and teaching two sections of freshman English at Santa Clara University. And I was ready to bust loose. So on Sunday, October 10th, I got up early, got my stuff together, and headed out to the Oakland Coliseum for a big concert there featuring two great bands, The Who and The Grateful Dead. But what I was most looking forward to was for the second time taking LSD. Because the first time had gone so well, I came away with sore face muscles from days from excessive inordinate smiling. <laughs> so I got to the Coliseum two hours before the show, chewed up the blotter in the car, hustled to get in line, time passes, they open the gates, we all rush out to the stage in deep center field. I end up in a great spot, maybe 15 yards from the stage. I feel myself getting higher and higher. And then uh, the movement on the stage, the band's coming on, we all stood up and pressed forward. And I had a mirror and looked in the mirror and my eyes were just lit up and my pupils were dilated the size of ping pong balls. And the Who came on, they were just great, uh, musically and visually. And I kept getting higher and higher, and about the seventh song was Magic Bus, okay? And I could feel myself peaking and start to hallucinate. And I looked in the mirror again, and now my pupils were dilated the size of Frisbees. And I, I, I put my head down and closed my eyes, and this vision came to me of riding the magic bus to distant planets <laughs> and worlds, each with fascinating, unique uh, geology and botany and life forms. And I'm just totally into this psychedelic reverie when all of a sudden something is wrong. There's a voice calling out to me, Professor Zorn. <laughs> oh, Professor Zorn. And I look around and, oh, God, no, this could not be more inopportune. It's a student of mine from Santa Clara. It's Peter from the 1030 section with a date. And now he's saying to me, Professor Zorn, this is my girlfriend, Ellen. Ellen, this is my English teacher, Professor Zorn. Now, I knew perfectly well what to say and how to act. But I'd been pulled too fast from too far away. <laughs> and I just stood there staring at them for minutes on end, looking like an impaired werewolf or yeti. Uh, and they, for their part, are cowering away from me, aghast and in fear, looking like they're going to be models for the next Edvard Munch painting, the yuppie Catholic school scream. And I, my pupils are now dilated the size of medium, if not large, pizzas from ill fucking Fornio. And this has become the single worst student-teacher interaction in world history. Well, finally, behind me, the band is finished with Magic Bus, and they start playing the summertime blues. You know, ain't no cure for the summertime blues. And I got to get back to rocking out now. <laughs> so I reached out my hand to Ellen, and I said words that I'd been rehearsing in my own mind for like 10 minutes now. <laughs> Glad to see you. <laughs> and she grabbed my hand and said, oh, glad to see you too, Professor Zorn. And with that, I nodded once to her and once to him, pivoted back to the show, and started rocking out again. When I next look, they were gone. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs>